When your Lenovo IdeaPad 3 or Slim 3 refuses to power on, systematic diagnosis is key to identifying the root cause. First, verify the power source. Ensure your laptop is connected to a working electrical outlet using a functional power adapter. Next, examine the battery indicator light. If the light fails to illuminate when plugged in, this suggests either a completely drained battery or a faulty battery component. The most effective initial fix is performing a power drain or hard reset. This procedure discharges residual electrical charge from the motherboard components. If the power drain doesn't resolve the issue, the problem may stem from deeper hardware failures, such as short circuits on the main board or corrupted boot processes. These diagnostic steps establish whether the issue is power related or requires more advanced troubleshooting techniques for boot and system recovery. If basic power troubleshooting didn't work, the next step is accessing your laptop's BIOS or boot menu using the Novo button. The Novo button is a small recessed button, usually located on the side of your laptop. Press it with a paper clip while the laptop is completely powered off. Once you press the Novo button, you'll see a menu that allows you to enter BIOS setup or select boot options. In the BIOS, there are several settings that can resolve boot issues. First, try loading setup defaults to reset any problematic configurations. A common fix is disabling secure boot. Navigate to the security tab and set secure boot to disabled. This can resolve compatibility issues with certain operating systems or boot devices. If BIOS changes don't help, Check your boot order settings to ensure your system is trying to boot from the correct device. In the boot menu, you can change which device your laptop tries to boot from first. Sometimes switching from UEFI to legacy mode or vice versa can resolve boot issues. Some users have found success switching from dynamic graphics to discrete graphics mode. This can resolve blank screen issues that occur after driver updates. If you suspect driver issues are causing boot problems, try accessing safe mode to troubleshoot software conflicts. Safe mode loads windows with minimal drivers, allowing you to uninstall problematic software or update drivers that might be causing boot failures. For more advanced issues, hardware problems like short circuits on the motherboard might be the cause, but these typically require professional repair. If software solutions don't work, the problem might be hardware related. Short circuits on the main board can prevent proper booting and usually need professional diagnosis. To prevent future boot issues, keep your drivers and BIOS updated, avoid forced shutdowns, and ensure proper ventilation to prevent overheating damage.